moving it over to our second intriguing matchup with Taysom Hill. And Hill, I mean, look, he wasn't good in this game. I mean, you have to say that, but you have to preface it by this game was going to be a possession game for the Saints. They were going to run it down their throat. And I can't judge Hill off this game. And that, and that's really what I want to say. Yeah, he was not good in this game. He was 9 of 16 for 78 yards and an interception. You add 44 rush yards and two touchdowns. So two touchdowns is great. But really, besides that, he barely eclipsed 100 total yards in this game. And uh, it was a poor performance. He was missing reads sometimes. Very, very slow through progression sometimes as well. But I think the one thing you have to say, and I'm going to preface this, and that's why I'm not really worried, you know, about Taysom Hill going into the next week. Or I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to say I'm not worried, but I don't really take this performance into account because basically 24 hours, as I said before this game, Sean Payton comes to him and says, we're completely changing this game plan. We're just pounding the football. We are going to just pound it down their throats because they don't have a quarterback and we don't want to give up any interceptions that turn into points and get them in favorable situations. We just want to run the ball, and if nothing's there, we'll punt, and we'll get the ball in probably three plays. And that's kind of what Sean Payton's mindset in this game, and I actually completely agree with it. Number one, that's a safe route to go, and you should go, because, let's face it, the Saints still ended up with 31 points in this game, which is really solid. And you win by 28 points, that's, to me, a domination. So that's obviously really good, and you're also not showing anything to the Falcons or the Eagles or any other teams Taysom Hill plays uh, in the next few weeks before Brees comes back. So I do think that... You know, when looking at Hill, yes, it, it was pretty ugly at times from Hill, but I think they were doing a lot of simple stuff that was easy for the Broncos to defend, and the reason they did that is because they didn't want to take a ton of chances downfield. Now, they tried to take a few, and none of them worked, so that's why you, you have to say, look, he played bad, and that's kind of what it is in this game, and we know that Hill is going to have some struggles. I mean, it's only his second start, but overall, you really can't put a lot of weight into this game. I mean, he did get the two touchdowns, which was nice. I want to see him now against the Falcons and against the Eagles, or if he plays the Eagles, and then whatever game he wants to see in the future, because this game, to me, is just a crazy game. It's a very odd game. You kind of just throw it out for everyone. I mean, it's not just Taysom Hill. I, I would throw out the good performances as well. Maybe the only person I wouldn't throw out is Latavius Murray, because there's going to be situations where, you know, they're still stacking the box, and the Saints need Murray to run in, you know, unfavorable boxes and they're going to need him in those situations so Murray is really the only one that I'm gonna be like yeah you had a good game and we're not going to throw that away and besides that I mean even some players on the defense I mean you're expected to win when you're playing a practice squad receiver at quarterback it's almost like when you have a position player uh, pitching in baseball very very similar to that and you know if you can't score in a nine inning game off a position player like you know 20 runs then you're probably doing something wrong and uh, that's kind of you just got to throw it out and move over to the next game. But you'll take the win. You'll take a 31 to 3, you know, domination for sure. I don't think anyone's saying that. But for Taysom, I just feel like you didn't see a lot of good from Taysom. But I think that was kind of on design. It wasn't aesthetically pleasing. That's how Sean Payton put it. But I mean, overall, he didn't really do anything, you know, awful besides the interception. Because if you take that out, which is obviously not good, but it only led to three points. Because if you really take that out, he held on to the ball for the most part. And he was able to keep the offense on schedule for the most part and uh, run the ball and basically then just punt it away if it wasn't there. And if it was there, they were able to score some touchdowns and win. And look, that's the type of game you have to play against a practice squad receiver on the other side. And that's to me is fine. And you get this win. And look, if he has another really bad performance next week, then you could come back to me and say, OK, like now we can talk about Taysom Hill not being good, playing bad. But just this game is so weird. To me, you just kind of throw it out with Hill. So that's to me what it is there with Taysom. 